My name is Caleb, I'm 10 years old, and my question is, how do you think dinosaurs became extinct? I'm Dr. Dave Lovelace. I'm the research scientist at the University of Wisconsin's Geology Museum. Really, the prevalent idea currently, the, the working hypothesis that everybody's kind of uh, dealing with is the what we call the bolide impact, right? So we have a meteorite that came to the surface of the Earth, hit the Earth, and that is what probably led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. We're talking a 10 kilometer plus wide uh, chunk of rock falling from space at you know tens of thousands of miles an hour as it enters our atmosphere. So this is a huge rock traveling really fast, and when it hits the Earth, it creates an immense amount of destruction. So the crater itself has been found in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and it's off in the Gulf of Mexico, so the crater itself is covered by water and has been, was relatively hard to uh, see until uh, scientists in the 70s thought that this might actually be a crater. They went in and, and tested it, and sure enough, this was definitely a big crater. And it looked like the timing would have been right for it to be around the time of the extinction of dinosaurs. The boundary between the end of the Cretaceous and the beginning of the Paleogene, the KPG boundary, is where the dinosaurs go extinct, and on the other side, in the Paleogene, there are no dinosaurs. Now, what are the immediate impacts? And this gets to be kind of a fun physics experiment to really understand when you have a rock this fast coming through the atmosphere of the Earth, effectively creating a void, the vacuum of space, following behind it, because it doesn't have time to collapse in um, on itself, it's traveling so fast. When it hits the Earth, it basically has this heat in front of it. The heat of that impact would have cr created uh, instantaneous fires just across the southern parts of North America, South America. It would have had huge devastating effect locally. We have the heat coming off, um, the fires that are starting, the material covering the globe, potentially cutting off light, which kills off plant life uh, for at least a little while, but those are the primary producers. On any ecological scale, those are the organisms that are feeding everything else. So if the plants die, the plant eaters no, have no food, they die, and of course the meat eaters, the apex predators, no longer have a food source, and then they die.